Quarterback run again, and that's good for the first down. You got a little bit of a zone read RPO at the same time. Give the Shipley. If not, you can pull it and kick out to the flat. Defense does a good job. After the Canes timeout, Uyunga Lale takes a shot to the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown by Davis Allen. But everything happens when you put the belly and the ball in the back. Right here, when that ball fake happens, you're trying to get that defender and that defender to step forward. It's a beautiful job. How about the ball placement by DJ and Davis Allen on the catch? Clemson with a great start at home. Mafa empties the backfield on second and eight. Uyanga Lale checks it down to him. Mafa wide open with a stiff arm. Cuts it back inside the 10, and it's first and goal for Clemson. Quarterback run. Uyunga Lale, dodging tacklers, looking for the goal line, he's got it for the touchdown. DJ gets stunted or stopped early on, and you just watch Miami, everybody converges, no one keeps any outside leverage or shoulder free. Credit DJ for kind of seeing that vision to the right. Here comes a five-man rush. Brown spins out under pressure. Thrown down. Jeremiah Trotter gets the sack back to the eight-yard. What they do is they take their defensive linemen and go inside. They're trying to create chaos from the offensive line. They oblige, and then here comes Trotter wrapping around. The seam, Miles Murphy squeezing the edge with the left hand, and Trotter tracks him down. Uyunga Lale, well protected again. Finally, the pocket collapses. That's a coverage sack for Miami, and they needed it. Jafari Harvey brings him down. Trying to get a mesh out this shallow cross. Clint, Miami does a really good job of passing it off. Now look, everybody, no one open. Nobody's open, nobody's open. DJ, what I'd love for you right now is to go. It's third and one. Instead of taking that sack, because I think Bob... Tipped ball! Intercepted! Jakari Brown tried the quick out. Jalen Phillips off the carom, picks it up, and Clemson's got it back deep in Miami territory. Watch Mickens on the right side. R.J. Mickens comes, ball goes off of his left hand, popped up in the air, and then Jalen Phillips waiting for it. And Shipley, the eye back. Play action. Uyunga Lale with a throwback wide open. Luke Price. That's his first catch of the year, and it's good for a touchdown. Everything flow this way, okay? And then you're going to watch Price. We call this a little bit of a leak back. He's this tight end who's just going to come all the way. It's called Y leak. You flow everybody one side, and Y leak him. That's a bad mistake to cost your team 15. Faking the quarterback draw and flipping it down the sideline was Uy Ungalale. Safety on the left as DJ's going to fake the quarterback power. He pulls up and back shoulders it to Randall. See if you can get a hitch and a ball in behind. Four-man rush. Quarterback run. The C's part for Uyunglele. Stutter stepping to the sideline. In the red zone before he's finally driven out. Picked up. 16 on the quarterback run. So was the linebacker. Watch everything vacated. You got three techniques, which means wide defensive tackles. There's a huge scene for DJ. Peek to the right to Shipley. Everything's vacated in the middle of the field. Now go use your legs. A little bit of design, a little bit of reaction. Uyunga Lale. Blind side hit. And he is sacked back to the 16 by Akeem Mesidor. And for the 70th time in his Clemson career, B.T. Potter is good. And Clemson dominant here in the first half, 24 to nothing. If you're Mario Cristobal in your offense, defense, I want to, I want to see them play with some pride, Kenny. Well, here we go. Starting off the second half. Exactly what the Canes needed as Jakari Brown gets loose. They had eight yards in the first half total. Look at they pulled the backside guard Seymour, then lead up with the wide receiver, and then Jakari Brown. Talked about a little bit in the first half, just his ability to use his leg. Play action, Brown. Here comes the rush, and down he goes. After a 44-yarder to try and at least get Miami on the board. 
He is a Groza semifinalist. His brother Jose won the Groza award. He turns to the sluggo, which is a slant and go, and right when he does that, he wheels back to the seam. Our quarterback thought it was going to be open. Pick six. That might be an interception for Miami. As Uyunglele missed his target, and DJ Ivy was there to pick it off at the Canes 20 yard line. I'd be one of these seniors that plays on this defense. Quarterback run, Uyunglele across the midfield strike. And in the secondary with a move. Finally brought down at the Miami 25. Caleb Johnson for 27 yards. Yeah, you pull the backside guard. Mitchell Mays, you pull the tail back as a lead blocker. Davis Allen goes up and easy big chunk game for DJ Uyunglele. Up the scene, in stride, the ball pops out. Miami's got another takeaway. Davis Allen lost it. Now watch Allen come from the left side. You fake the toss sweep, rip the scene behind. Now watch Cam Kitchens, 24. Yup. Three interceptions last week. One 96-yarder return for a touchdown. Excuse me, 99-yarder return for a touchdown. That's a teach take. Talked about Cam, natural instincts lead the country in interceptions, man. Puts it. Brown holds onto the ball for a long time and throws it to nowhere as he was being brought down at the one yard line. Somewhere in the area, and I'm not sure there was. Yeah, Pride comes on the pressure. He wants to throw it, but then Pride fake jumps. Bobby, I think he's in the end zone there. He's accounted for a couple of touchdowns. And here comes the blindside rush. The ball pops out. That might be ruled a fumble. I think it is. It is scooped up by Jordan Miller. He's down the sideline to the 10-yard line. Right off the left side, there's Mesador. And then Harvey thinks that he had the chance for a pick. Mesador pops the ball out, and then Jordan Miller continues to chase after it. Really good job. Easy flip into the left flat for the touchdown. Watch the confusion by everybody on Clemson. Look at this confusion going on. Who's got who's got who? Now he's going to leak to the flat. You go ball fake. Everybody's committed. No one's communicated on that back end for that secondary motion. Pick the screen. There comes a five-man rush. Stepping up, getting out of the pocket. Garcia gets waffled back at the 36-yard line. Trenton Simpson buries him. It is a quarterback keeper. And picking up the first down and then some. Uwe Angelale out to the 37-yard line. Uwe Angelale with a slant right up the seam in stride. Breaking tackles his Brenningstool inside the five-yard line. 49-yard catch and run for the sophomore Jake Brenningstool. Hiding like he's a blocker. Watch the left side of your screen. Hesitates the linebacker, and then you replace right behind him. Really good design. Will Shipley, he's our best player. Let's everybody on the defense look at him. And then the tight end from Brentwood, Tennessee, replaces. Clemson looking for some style points here. It is Shipley up the middle at the goal line. Gets the push, and there it is, the Clemson touchdown. Watch just the leg drive, Bob. Like he gets down in there, low pads, and just push, 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 push. Good job by the big fellas up front. Now that can't ruin North Carolina's trip to the ACC title game. They've got that locked up. Here comes the blindside hit, and the ball pops out. Trenton Simpson untouched. Garcia coughs it up. Clemson has it. Klubnik. Gives it to Pace. Touchdown. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.